All right. Man, the sky always washes out. That, that, it make, oh, it's still washing out. I guess it's picking up the trees. Makes me very sad when the sky washes out and it looks like it's dark and gray. Still looks dark and gray. What's up with that? <laughs> Anyways, headed to Loja. Walking, going down to catch the bus. Got my fake mask here. How do I look? Ready to rob a bank? Um, probably won't even have to put it on, but heading down to catch the bus. We actually brought our other car back from Guayaquil. But I days got that one. The Nissan's still in the shop. I usually have very good luck with buying cars, but this one was a bad purchase, no doubt about it. So, anyways, headed to Loja. Um, check out a office that we're going to share with Milton Mena who you've seen on the channel um, and uh, we're going to put a little office in Loja our main, our, most of our team works out of Vilcabamba at this point but we had closed the office we had a big beautiful office in Loja pre-pandemic <laughs> and then we uh, we closed it down in June of 2020 because it was ridiculous and no point to have it and um, so we're going to share something with Milton now and uh, yeah, got to do that. Got to sign a couple of legal documents at a couple of different notaries. We're opening a company in order to be able to receive capital on, and, and have some operating agreements on some cool projects that we're currently doing and then others for the future. Uh, big watermelon and hemp and other stuff, all kinds of stuff going on. So that's fun. Um, so I got to sign there. Got also signed for a... Uh, property down in Zumba that we're doing some stuff on and uh, run around do a bunch of other stuff I days there my wife's gonna meet me there and that's what I got going on today I may do a interview as well with an attorney we'll see if there's time for that but if not today we'll do it soon and talk about a bunch of legal matters to help keep you guys informed so this is Londangi where I currently live <clears throat> We're about half or three quarters of the way through building a house. Halfway, three quarters, I don't know. Out in Guatuche, which is much much more rural. By a river, you've seen that in some videos as well. And, um, and then we're really headed medium term, maybe even very short term to our land in Loja. To kick off that beautiful high vibe 5D project. So excited about that agriculture all kinds of beautiful stuff going on out there and um going to build a great community so really excited about that magical piece of land i've talked about that a bunch as well so that is fun and exciting if that's something that appeals to you let's talk because we need all kinds of stuff we need people we need energy baby <laughs> uh, we got great you know great momentum great people but you know we're really trying to build this thing the right way so if an off-grid, sort of high-end, self-sufficient, closed systems, uh, piece of, you know, residential living situation, organic agriculture, we're doing a farm-to-table restaurant, spa, healing center, property's got everything you can imagine, monkeys, bears, lagoons, and uh, streams, and springs, and old-growth forest, and flat, and hills, and everything in between, so... Really excited about that. If that appeals to you, you want to be involved either energy, financially, or maybe you've got some cool resources, you got a free energy solution. I think we got one. I think we got one, believe it or not. But you got that. Woo! Let's talk. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so really cool stuff going on there. And uh, yeah, this is sugar cane here by the side of the road. As you can see, it's a little, uh, this is a brand new little store that they put recently. A little volleyball court. And uh, that the metropolis of Landangi is basically that tra traffic light there. So obviously, it's not even a town, really. It's about 10, eh, 12 minutes, 13 minutes to Vilcabamba, about 5 minutes to Malacatos, and about 30 to 35. 
25 minutes 30 Alright, in Loja. Man, I don't even like coming to the city anymore. I lived in Loja for years. I lived in New York City for many years. At this point, all I want is fruit trees, sunshine, grass, stuff like that. But anyhow, in Loja, wife's about to pick me up, go take care of a few things, and uh, get back to the country. <laughs> there you can see current gas prices. 3.30 for super, 2.09 for the regular, and $1.52 for diesel. Headed to the notary in Loja. You know, if you like cities, Loja is the best city in Ecuador to live. It's not even, it's not even close. It's small, there's no crime, hardly any traffic, people are friendly. Culture is great. Um, weather is better than pretty much all the other mount mountain cities because um, it's lower elevation, quite a bit lower than you know Cuenca, Quito, etc. Um, it's gotten to be much nicer. They did a big regeneration project. Definitely a good good place to live if you want to be in a city for sure. Comfortable climate. You know, it's not hot, it's cool, but it's, again, quite a bit, quite a bit uh, warmer than the other mountain cities. <laughs> so I'm headed here to the notary. Gotta sign some documents. We're only a few blocks here from the center square. The notaries in Ecuador are basically, it's basically how the government sucks money out of the economy. <laughs> um, the government establishes all these fees for the notaries, like the notaries can't charge what they want. The fees are very high, like you spend a lot of money in the notary doing stuff. For example, when there's a property sale, even though closing costs here are low, they're much lower than the states, but when there's a sale, you, ha you know, the notary fee is a significant portion of the closing cost. Um, it's the second largest after the transfer tax. So it's essentially just another tax because the government gets, the government receives about half of the notary fee or maybe even more than that. And then the notary receives the rest of it and the government sets all that. So, you know, you go spend a couple, a couple of grand in the notary Maybe 1,200 bucks of that is going to <laughs> going to the government. You know, the notary gets about 800 bucks. Good deal for the notary too. You know, they their people are obligated to use them for everything. So you know, is what it is. I just I can't lie, man. I just this whole mask and being afraid thing is just repugnant to my soul. I just can't do it. Getting for getting more and more rural every day. Rural, rural, rural. <laughs> rain just started to come down <sighs> Ecuadorian culture in general is just really good man. really nice people very trusting in a lot of ways as it's good and it's bad I've definitely done shows and <clears throat> topics on that but good culture good place to live culture wise for sure we're headed out to drop off some tools to other videos I've put out it's very rural this is funny watching this watch bus like they almost drive over the cliff every time Looks like as you get 
get out of the city here. This is a sweet property here too. The people who sold me mine own this. It's 60 hectares. They want more money than I'd like to pay, but it is it is valuable. Can't see much from here. Got a lot of flat, beautiful old house that would be fun. Fun to restore. And make an amazing addition to the project. Still can't see much. No. And um, really these this I'd really love to have like the whole valley. There's a bunch of properties, but less than you think. My property is further and further back. We're building a road up the back side for a private entrance, which will be really nice. This is a public road here. Hey guys, good morning. What is today? Wednesday, I want to say. Wednesday. Wednesday morning, walking into a workshop. These things are a stretch for me, these like spiritual workshops. But they're awesome. They make me feel good. I never regret it. This is on, I don't know. I don't even know what this is on. But uh, the lady's Tapping. amazing. What is it? Tapping. Tapping, in part, anyway. I think it's like a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, beliefs and who knows. Releasing stuff out of the body. We're going to do it. It's going to be scary. <laughs> two day workshop hopefully i make it back for the second day and don't get scared and uh yeah beautiful day well not really a beautiful day actually but here in vocabomb all right on the lunch break here at the workshop really cool it's a workshop basically about how to use tapping and muscle testing and other modalities to clear and reprogram the subconscious mind so very cool really enjoying it it's cold it's probably about 70 no, it's probably about 68 cold it's definitely a cold time of year we got through june splendidly the weather in june was phenomenal it's like hot and sunny every day nights definitely cooled off and now we have hit well we're still in june i think it's like the last day of june i think but um we've definitely hit now the windy, cool June, July, August normally, basically. Um, well, really July and August are usually the windier months, but those three months can definitely be cooler than the rest of the year. So I'm like a Floridian now complaining when it's like upper 60s, but hey, I have acclimated. So anyways, good day, good crew, beautiful people here. Definitely a great place to heal, etc. Okay, after lunch, I'm late. I gotta run back into this workshop. Beautiful, windy, but beautiful day in Boca. Um, just had to squeeze a business call in between sessions here and lunch. And um, we're back at a really amazing workshop. Clearing a lot of stuff. Oh, so good, man. It feels like it feels like the, the 5D, the new earth, is being created right here, right now. These types of folks. 
doing this kind of stuff. Amazing, 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 amazing. All right, it's definitely a good day. Got some work done as well. Finished up the workshop here in the park, chasing my son around. Oh boy, I'm getting too old for this. He's young, man. I gotta play sports with him when he's like 10, 15. Time, gotta stay in shape. Gotta stay in shape. Bill Cabamba. Cool, windy, it's winter here. So, just started to hit those cooler temperatures. Jackets are out, wind is going. It feels like very early autumn back home. Maybe like, you know, September or something or very early October. And it's like that for a couple of months, not every day. Still have beautiful hot days as well. Plenty of sun. It's actually a sunny, fairly sunny time of year. And uh, yeah, the mountains have really not turned brown yet, which is very surprising. Usually they're brown by June pretty much. As you can see, he's still pretty green there. All right, little guy, what do you think? You want some juice? Yeah. Whoa, are you gonna drink your juice? Yeah. Yeah? And the table. The table, that's right, that's the table. I broke it. It broke? Yeah. No, it's just the wind that's blowing it around. So I'm at day two of the workshop here. I gotta see if I can get this for you. So there's a squirrel. Let's see if I can get a good shot. There's a squirrel or a chipmunk, whatever. In this avocado tree. Eating an avocado. It's been, it's been walking all around the tree, looking for the right consistency of avocado to eat it, as you can see, there, it's only like a few feet away, maybe eight feet away, let's see how close I can get. Friday, gorgeous, gorgeous day, taking in a little sun, having a little smoothie, <clears throat> walk over here, I, um, I drink a lot of coconut water, it's, uh, you know, it's like, this fruits <clears throat> have distilled water, which is really, really good for you, and my wife now gets them delivered, that sort of quantity for 80 cents coconut so pretty reasonable <laughs> especially compared with kind of prices you pay back home uh, hopefully playing some hoops tomorrow we'll see if the hamstring lets me may or may not it was a good day of work today got a lot done on the computer Kids weren't around, which is increases productivity for sure. Oh, I think my family just got home. <clears throat> so got a lot of work done. We're kicking off all kinds of new projects and there they are. Cool stuff going on. Uh oh, he's unhappy. So my son just pointed this out to me. You want the phone? You want to take a picture? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you. But first, I gotta look at you. Hi. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> You're <a beauty>. oh, <laughs> shit. Ah, family came to pick me up after playing a little bit of ball. Always fun to sweat. I love the sun. It can never be too hot for me. <laughs> um, my daughter's laughing at me. I'm not even sure what we're doing the rest of the day. Might be barbecuing. We will see. Uh, wrapping up a little pool party, hanging out with some friends. End of the 
today. Beautiful time of day. A little cool as we are in in the winter here, but uh, had a good time. Some Korean food. Kids are playing. Well, actually, kids are naked. And uh, yeah, I got the steam room going. Mountains are really beautiful right now. I don't know. So, so. Pick it up a little bit. So we're into July here. July 4th today. Great weather for July 4th. What? Oh. Okay. Tell him, buddy. Tell him. As you can see here, the mountains have officially browned out. At least some of them. We are into dry season. But June was just incredible. June is not always the best weather. But it was amazing weather this year. And so far July has been incredible also. Today is very warm. My wife is hot and complaining. I am happy and comfortable. It's probably mid 80s. Very hot for this area. Very warm for this area. Careful dog. Saw the bus? Yeah. Excellent. And that's all I gotta say. We got blue skies. Look at that. It's beautiful almost every day. Enjoying life in Southern Ecuador. Cruising through Kukanama. That's a half. Well, it's more than half. I mean, the structure's completed. Even the plumbing and electric are in. That's a beautiful structure up there. It could be a hotel. It could be a retirement home. It could be housing. It could be anything. It is potentially for sale. If anybody wants to do a cool project in Vilcabamba, it's just uh, in the San Joaquin. This is our project here, the entrance. Beautiful lots down by the river, close to town. Really a great spot to live. I'm going to build there. We're selling them cheap and with really amazing characteristics, infrastructure, etc. As the river, eucalyptus, bamboo. Really a beautiful spot. But anyways, you can see how lovely the day is today. We're about 10 minutes out from Guatuche where we're building a little house. Obviously, well, that's the bodega, the storage or shed or whatever. And then, uh, yeah, we want to see the progress. I want to see the progress. Yeah, buddy? You want to live here in our house, buddy? Yeah. All right, let's check it out. Such a cool little spot under these trees here. Such a fan. You want me to open that for you? We got some orange trees on the property. We got all kinds of fruit. Yeah, princess, what's your question? Tell me, baby. No, there is. Absolutely, sweetie. It's just gonna be hardwired. What? You need help? You can do it. I know you can do it. I... Mommy doesn't believe you can do it, but I do. Jump! All right, mommy's threatening me now. It's on video. Your threats are on video. <laughs> Come on, let me see you jump. Let me see you jump. Can you jump? Yeah. I know you can. Careful. <laughs> all right, all right. Eh, eh, eh. I'm going for the eh, eh, eh. Woo! Okay, child, right now you're screwing up this stuff, materials. 
Yeah. 